Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, the Lenovo Yoga Pro 3 laptop specification review. Because as always, guys, with these products, I have to tell you what's behind the scene, what's behind this machine, what makes it work, what makes it run. So let's get started. So this particular laptop comes with a 2.6 gigahertz Tobo Intel Core M processor, which is extremely fast for its class. Now the operating system that this particular laptop comes with is Windows 8.1. I'm kind of excited with Windows 10 because I would love to see how this machine will handle Windows 10. Now the display for this particular laptop, it is a 13.3 inch quad core HD display. Now the resolution is 3200 by 1800 and it is touch screen, which let's start it up. I'm going to start this bad boy up for you guys because it is extremely fast because of the M processor. It makes speed boot. It makes the booting time extremely fast. Now the video graphics. Now the video graphics is an Intel integrated HD graphics, which is a 5300 series, uh, which kind of provides a little bit more of the quad core HD and the graphics processor. It just gives you that nice crisp look. Now the memory for this particular laptop is eight gigs of RAM. Audio speakers is JBL speakers, which is going to give you excellent audio. Webcam at the top of the laptop, you're going to get a 720p HD. It would have been great if you got 1080, but they're only giving you 720 for this particular laptop. Now, as always, a lot of these machines, how is the weight? Now, the weight for this particular guy is, is extremely light for me. It's only 2.61 pounds, which is not that bad. Now the dimensions of the laptop. So if you're measuring it, the entire casing, if you're measuring from this way, you're going to get 13 inches by 19 inches. So it's, it's not that big. The battery life is not that bad. Battery life for this particular laptop goes for 7.2 hours. But again, guys, I, I, like I always tell you guys, it really depends on how you're using the laptop. So let's get down into the ports and connections on this particular laptop. Now, as you can see right here in the bottom, you get yourself a power button and next to the power button, you got a new button. This is new to me, which I have to play around. This button is called the Nova button, which is a recovery button. Uh, right next to that, you got the auto rotate control right here. You get the power button, the volume up and down. And as always, if you guys have been tuning in, this is, I call this a hybrid because uh, you're able to plug in your headphone as well as your, um, bike and right next to this you have a brand new usb 3.0 and it always on charging so a lot of people love these a lot so that's pretty cool so let's check out the other side on the other side of the laptop you guys have here a card reader you got yourself a mini hdmi another 3.0 usb and this is a first for me guys this right here is a DCN with a USB 2.0 port. So what does this mean? You can actually plug in a flash drive and this port right here is the, the port that allows you to charge this laptop, which is pretty awesome. Now, another thing that I noticed about the laptop and this is, I think this is a spec. So the spec right here is the material of the keyboard itself. It's like this rubbery kind of material. It kind of fills the material of a Moto X um, back cover. So this is pretty awesome. I'm really excited about the laptop. I cannot wait to give you a, a full review of this laptop. Uh, I, I have to play around with it for a while until I give you guys a full review as well as a performance review. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the specification view. Please leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy up here and as well as the video as well. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.